Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial of MyNixOS. MyNixOS is a website that lets you create and share Nix and NixOS configurations. In this tutorial, we'll set up a transmission BitTorrent client on a Raspberry Pi using NixOS. A few of the benefits this will give us is that you will learn how you can set up an embedded system using NixOS without using an installer. You will get access to NixOS modules, which makes the deployment of services such as transmission or open SSH easier. And you will get the control and comfort of a reproducible operating system configuration. Using MyNixOS, you'll be able to do this without knowing the Nix configuration language. To get started, we'll go to MyNixOS.com and sign in, then click Create. We'll give our flake a short name, Demo Raspberry Transmission, and paste in a short description. We'll then click uh, Create. To get started, we'll set up an output. We'll set up a NixOS module, which we'll call for services. And for our services, we're first going to enable the transmission clients. So we'll go to services, transmission, enable, and set this option to true. Next up, we'll go to transmission and go to open firewall and true just to enable the necessary ports in the firewall for the transmission service. Then we'll go to services, open SSH, enable, to enable the SSH service such that we can remotely log into our Raspberry Pi. And again, we'll go and set the open uh, firewall option such that this is also open for the SSH service. Last up, we'll set the password authentication option to false, because we don't want it to be possible to log in via password over SSH. Then we'll set a couple of settings for our root user. We'll add another output, we'll call it for user root. So for the root user, we're first going to set the password. So we'll go users, users, and then select the password setting. So for the root user, we're just going to set a value of root, so it's easy to log in via keyboard. Next up, we'll go back for the user and set OpenSSH authorized keys. And so for the root user, we're going to set the public SSH key and apply this to the root user. Now we'll go back to outputs and set a few system level settings. So we'll add another NixOS module, call it for system. So for the system module, we're actually going to set up a couple of imports. We'll import services and the root user settings into the system. And then we're going to set some uh, settings at the system level. We'll set documentation enable to false. This is just to reduce the size of the resulting file system image bit. Next up, we're going to set hardware enable redistributable firmware. We're going to set this option to false. We'll also set a priority for the setting. We'll set force. This is just to avoid that the setting conflicts with an implicitly set value. Next up, we'll go to hardware and set firmware. And here we'll just add a firmware setting packages.raspberry pi wireless firmware and apply this to the system as well. Now we'll just go to networking, wireless enable, just to enable Wi-Fi. And we'll go back to wireless networks and set a key. So for the MyNixOS network, we'll set the key Raspberry. Those are all the settings we need. We'll now go back to outputs. At a last output, we'll add the NixOS Generate, which we'll use to build the file system image. For the system, we're going to select a Arch 64 Linux. And for the format, we're going to select the SD a Arch 64 option to build an SD card file system image. For this output, we'll import the system, 
which already imports the other modules. And now we're going to go to inputs. And we see that we have two inputs, NixOS generators and Nix packages. We're going to update these to get the lock information for these inputs. And using this lock information, we can set up a follow from NixOS generators, Nix packages to Nix packages. This is just to avoid that we have separate uh, versions of Nix packages within our configuration. Now we'll go to versions, release to create a release of our flake. And once we have a release, we'll build the file system image. Now that we have our file system image, we'll just download this to our computer. We'll then unpack it and unpack it again. Then we'll write it to our SD card device. Make sure that you select the correct target device via checking FDisk, for example. We'll then move the SD card to the Raspberry Pi and boot NixOS. Now that we have booted the Raspberry Pi, we'll set up an SSH tunnel. And by the SSH tunnel, we will then access the transmission web interface, which is exposed by the transmission service running on the Raspberry Pi. We'll uh, then just add a magnet link here to download a torrent, which is now added and will be downloaded by the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching.